That's a good day. Good day. Ibe, what are you doing on my land? Huh? I said, what are you doing on my land? I have warned you several times to steer clear of this land, haven't I? Ibe. What a... Ah. Don't you remember that? I'm not on your land. Don't you remember? Remember what? I told you that I am for my princess, Ifa and Obina, didn't I? Right? And yet you insist on claiming it. What is wrong with you? Brother, don't you... Our father, when he was alive, gave me this piece of land as my inheritance. Your own is even larger than my own. Ibe, all this nonsense will not help you. You have only one son, and you don't have any possibility of having other children. And you know that. Leave this land alone. You don't need it. I want to use this land. Ibe, I want to use this land. I know that I have only one son, but our mother can still give me a son. Please, brother, let us not quarrel over this matter. Listen, let, that let is your business. Right? That is your business. I have warned you several times to leave this land alone. If I come here again, Ibe, and I catch you on this land, I will treat you in a manner you will never forget. And I mean it. Listen, Ibe, 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 leave my land alone, Ibe. Hmm. All right. Abama. America! Has everybody gone to this house? Papa. Must I crack my voice before you answer me? What have you been doing? Papa, I was just busy at the backyard with some house chores when I had my name being called. Don't let it happen again. Where's your mother? Mama went to see Mama Kemma. What about Izuchuku? I said, what about Izuchuku? Izuchuku went to Uncle Ibe's house to play with Ikechuku. Again? Again? After all the one who I gave my guest to go in there? All right. Let him come back. Go and get me something to eat. Go on. Yes, Papa. Is it you who come here? You think you can outsmart your father by sneaking into the house? I played all those tricks before I married your mother. So they are not original to you. Where are you coming from? I said, where are you coming from? I, I went to Onkibe's house to play with the kitchen. Haven't I told you never to go there again that Ibe is a devil? Why did you go there? But Papa, is there anything wrong with playing with Ikechuku? Is he not my cousin? I am your father. I tell you what to do and what not to do. Where to go and where not to go. And I have told you stop going to that place. Any child that disobeys his parents is a very bad child and requires to be punished seriously. 
You have disobeyed me. Do you know that? Do you know that? Good. I will not punish you this time. But let me warn you. If I ever catch you going to that place again, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. Go into the house. Why don't I have enough meat in this soup? Papa, that was all I... Go and get me some meat, my friend. I provide the money for it. From here where we stand to that palm tree. Can you see that tall palm tree? Which one? The tallest palm tree. The last one? Yes. Okay. From here to that tall palm tree. And then from that palm tree, you go through the path to the path that leads to Umwe's stream. That is the extent of our land. Hmm. Yes. It's big, oh, Papa. It is. It is. But, Papa, yeah. what about this portion of the land? Okay. Does it not belong to you? From that palm tree, you go left. All the land on this side, down, down, down. That belongs to your bro uh, uncle, Ezekuden. Mm. Yes. It's so big, oh. Yes, it is. And if it, it even extends to Humu's village. Exactly. Up to that road that leads to Humu's village, all that portion belongs to the Kuden. Mm. Eh? My son. Papa. Our father. My mother had blessed his soul. Before he departed this earth, shared his properties amongst us. Your uncle, is a good name. Being the eldest, was given the largest share. But he's not satisfied with that. He still wants me to surrender my own portion to him. Why? I don't know. Why, why would he want to behave like that? Why would he behave like that? I don't I said, what were you doing on that land yesterday? I have warned you to leave that piece of land alone, haven't I? Ibe, what were you doing on that land? As a kuden. As a kuden. Yes. Enough of this, your nonsense. What? You think you can come into my own home and insult me? As a kuden. I think I have to put an end to this, your insanity. Wait for me. You are talking to me. I said, just wait for me.
Please, I beg you. Don't allow the hotel to call you. Please, Nai. Nai, please, I beg you. Nai, please. Please. Please, I beg you, Nai, please. Nai, please. Biko. Please, Biko. In the name of God. Tell your husband. Please. Tell your husband that if I see him again on that land, I will kill him. If I see him again on that land, this gun will settle matters once and for all. Tell him. Tell him. Nai. You will see me! Kill the man! Come and let me kill you here! No, no, let me be! Let me You will see me in the land! You, 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 you will see me! Kill the man! You will see me! Hey, don't you think I'm a woman? Ah, to come and insult me in my own compound? Ah, I, I would have cut your head today! Why, why are you going away? Ah! Aha, uh -huh. wake up! I was going to your place. Yes. Um. Look, I have warned you several times to desist from selling palm wine in that store. Yet, you persist. Do you think there's nothing I can do to you? But, as a good enemy, I came to you last week and you asked me to give your wife money for that store. And I did exactly what you asked me to do. It's a lie. Look, I asked your wife. Whether you give my wife money or not, I don't want you to sell palm wine again at that store. And let me tell you, Mweke, if you are looking for death, I, is a good in it. I can help you find it. Okay. <laughs> something that has been bothering me recently. What is it? 
It's about Ezekuden. Well, don't worry over it. Nothing is going to happen. I know, Nai. But is it not better for us to leave that farmland for him? What? To avoid trouble. I'm afraid Ezekuden is a troublemaker and also a dangerous man. <laughs> leave the farmland for him? Eh, uh, to avoid trouble. I've told you, stop worrying over it. Ezekuden is only trying to be greedy. And I'm not going to succumb to his wish. Let's go to the farm. It's getting late. Are you going to leave the door open? No, no. This little bit, I said I should leave it for him. No, he's in need of peace. Great of peace, what? To avoid trouble. Ibe, you are looking for your death. Ibe, you are looking for your death. I warned you not to come to this land again. Get out of this land, Ibe. No, yes, I couldn't. Please leave him alone. I beg in the name of Amadioha, please. Leave him alone. Biko. Huh? You should be the one to get out of this land. This is my inheritance. My own inheritance, yes, I couldn't. It's you who should get out of this land. Now get out of this land. I said get out of this land. Are you talking to me, Ibe? Yes, me. Yes. Me. I said get out of me, this land. Ibe. Ibe. Yes. Get out. And let me tell you, Ibe. The next time I am going to kill you. Uh, all right. Leave me. Leave me. Oh, leave me. Leave me. Let, 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 let me teach me a lesson with this life. Leave me. Let My only inheritance. Eh? Let him go. Oh, I said, leave me. Let me teach you a lesson with this life. Let him go, Nike. Oh, let him go. Leave me, woman. Let him go, Biko. Biko, on Nike. Why must I continue to receive insults from my own brother? Does he think I can't do anything to him? My twin sons, Obin and Efani, will soon arrive from Lagos. And I should be able to give them land to develop. Mazi Ibe has only one son cannot even develop that piece of land. Why must they stick to that land? Why? I must do something. Oh yes, I must do something before it is too late. Zibe is not going to be the solution because with or without him, the problem is still going to linger. Owatuleni, this is why I am here. I want a solution. I want some remedy. And there's little time left. Mm, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, Lu Orobo, oh, Lu Orobo, oh, Lu Orobo, oh, Lu Orobo, I got a lie, I got a long, oh, Lu Orobo, 
Hmm. 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 Mon frère, mon cher, quand tu as chassé, on a gagné la balle à Mouko. À Mouko, Chane. Hein? Hein, yo. Does he have a son? Yes. <laughs> he, he has a 15-year-old son. The problem is already solved. How? Now, come to think of it. You kill his son, bring his head here for ritual appeasement. And then there is no second son to inherit the, those lands. The ritual is highly necessary to appease his spirit. How, how do I do this? That is left to you. All right. I shall do as you say. But if I kill him, won't his spirit come back to haunt me. <laughs> that is why I ask you to bring his head here for ritual appeasement. When you bring his head here, we'll bury it under that shrine tree outside. And then Mazibe will be powerless and completely frustrated. All right. And eventually, the land will become yours forever. About <laughs> <laughs> I shall do as you say. Uh, How much is my fee? Ah, uh, uh, very simple. You bring uh, five cowries. Um, a big he goat and and a white native cock. All right. <coughs> I shall provide all of them. Mm. What do you That's a good idea. What do you <laughs> I will come back. It's all right. <coughs> 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 Is it not so? So <laughs> I wonder why Ezekudin is not here by now. <coughs> Who knows what he's holding here? <coughs> uh, let somebody go and call him. Uh, Odume, as the youngest, go and call him. Go and call Ezekudin. But who told you I am the youngest here? Weke? What kind of embarrassment is this? Oh, do me! Don't you have respect for your elders again? Or do you want me to carry you first before obeying the elders? Yes. What kind of nonsense is this? Say! Is he gonna get it? Wow, wow, Brother, good afternoon. What do you mean? Have they sent you to come here and insult me? Oh no. I was only sent to come and inform you that the meeting is about to start. And all the elders are there waiting for you. I believe they sent you here to come and embarrass me. Oh no, 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 no. Somebody was sent here earlier on just to come and insult me. He left. Now they decided to send you. Because they think I won't do anything. Oh. Let me see you here again.
They want to give you. 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 Wadi, I don't know. Them. I don't know. What? What? I don't know. I didn't. I don't know them because I was just because I was coming back from coma again. They sprang out from the bush and started running after me. What? You, you didn't insult them? I didn't insult them. Yeah. No, if wow. not because I was mad, and that was why I returned them. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's let's get out of here. Oh. Sorry. Oriaco You called me. Take this food away. My but you've not eaten anything. Huh? Is anything the matter? Are you well? I am not feeling fine, Oriako. I am worried. Worried about what? Huh? At least Amadio has answered our prayer by giving us a son. And also, he has blessed us with bountiful harvests. So what could be bothering you? Our only source of happiness, Ikechuku. Ever since he told us about two men who chased him in the forest, I have been worried. I have been having nightmares. What could they want with my son's life? Eh? No. God forbid any of our enemies who tries to lay his hands on our Ikejuku. But no. I'm mad how we not allow it to happen. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to Ikechuku. But I think we just have to be on our guards. We have to be on our guards. Eh? We must tell Ikechuku to be careful where he goes and whom he goes out with. Yes, man. Eh? That is true. But all the same, you have to eat at least a little for your stomach. Oh? <laughs> eat. <laughs> By the way, where is he catch Kuna? Where is he? Ah, he's in the house taking his meal. Good. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. I can't bear to lose him all. Eh? We have to be very careful. <laughs> no. Nah, nothing will happen to Ikechiku. Amadio will not allow it. At least we we'll serve him. Don't worry. Eat your food, oh? I am very worried. I hope nothing will happen to him. Uh -uh. I can't bear to lose him. <laughs> Just eat your food. Nothing will happen to him. Oh? Okay. <laughs> Let me see Ketchup in the house. Okay. <laughs> you want some food? Hmm? Bingo. Come on. That. You get me. Mama. I know you've worked really hard today, eh? I promise you two plates of fufu. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. And the number soon. I'm really tired. I know. You know you are the only son we have. Your father loves you a lot. And I love you too. Oh? Thank you, Mama. You take good care of me. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Nothing will happen to me. Ah, nothing. My mother will not allow anything to happen to you. Yeah, you are our life. <laughs> hey, Mama. How I just wish that something will just come and carry me to the house. We are almost at the house now. <laughs> Don't, have Don't worry. Tired now. Yeah. <laughs>
It for once, <laughs> yeah, I can do without it. <laughs> hey. Since our brother is a good in it, has decided to stop us from enjoying ourselves from that drinking house. Let us sit down here and enjoy ourselves. Go and get more drinks for yourself. I will pay. My brother, uh -huh. I don't know what has become of that man. He thinks he's the strongest person in this village. But one day, anyway, let me reserve my comment. I learned that Ike Chiku, the only son of Mazibe, the great farmer, was kidnapped two days ago by unknown people. Hmm? Is that true? People are so wicked, though. Wow. Imagine a family that has been looking for a child for the past 15 years, and God decided to bless them with one. Hmm. Then, out of nowhere, an enemy, full of wickedness, decided to snatch the boy away from them. Hmm. Don't say I told you. Rumor is now spreading within the town that our brother is a cool Dene. Masterminded the whereabout of uh, his nephew. Eh? Uh -uh. I've not heard that too. <laughs> I wonder where you got your news from. Are you still in this town? Anyway, I know one thing very sure. A devourer cannot go on the <laughs> Thank you. This is the thing. Amadio. Amadio, why did you allow this to happen to me? All these years of suffering without a child, why did you allow them to take him away? Amadio, Amadio, I react. I say react, Amadio, I react. Papi Kechuku, stop lamenting. Huh? Your son is going to be found. But I wonder what our Igwe and his cabinet are doing over this matter. Or oh, are they not doing their work again? If I had known that this would happen to us, I would have remained childless as before. Woman, stop talking like that. Another one knows the purpose of everything. We must do something. Because if we decide to keep quiet over this matter, people will continue missing. find him. I will send people to come every corner of this village. I know he will be found. Take that. Hmm?
Uncle. I'm not here. Thank you. Uncle, you're here. How is Mama, Papa? Who is your uncle? Who is your uncle? It is your father's sin that has brought you to this end. Give me that machet. Uncle, no, Uncle. Uncle, no, Uncle. Why have you just taken your own son? Shut up, you dumb dog. Take the headless body to the father. So he sees it when he gets up first thing in the morning. As for the head, leave that for me. If 
Our source of happiness is no more. My only source of happiness, Amadia, has God. God. Every day that passes sees me nearer to my grave, Amadia. What have I done to deserve this humiliation? Why have they taken away the only eye of a blind man, Abadioha? Why? Why? Asami! How can I carry this? How can I get this? Give up. Stop crying. Abadioha will never cease to punish whoever laid his hand on our son. And uh, water. Water. Huh? Water. Water to drink. Then uh, uh. you have not eaten anything this morning. How can you drink water now? Uh, eat a little food so you can help yourself or help me. Be good. Be good. Oh, nah. Eat a little food. Just a little and you'll be all right. Oh, nah. Hey. For more, my please. Eat a little food. Rak, yeah. Rak. And uh, get me a fair with that, uh, uh, with the plenty of chow. Uh, yeah. Tazi. Uh -huh. uh, okay, uh, now. Uh, We came because we had the decision that Mbangwa should pack her things and go. 
But can't you have mercy on her? I mean, she had suffered enough. Not quite long ago, her only child, Ikejuku, died. And just recently, her husband, Mazibe, also died. What do we do? I have heard you. That woman is a witch, or you want to hear it from me? She's a witch. She killed her husband and her son with her witchcraft. So I said to myself, if I allow her to continue staying here, she will kill other people. So I sent her away. I, is a good I can't live with a witch. No. But is a good She's a widow. Isn't it necessary to give her Look, some... it's enough. Did I permit you to come here and tell me how to run my place? Did I give you any such permission? All right, I have heard you. Please leave. Please leave, I have heard you. Okay. <clears throat> it's all right. There is no family. <laughs> but we can't do good. Why did you decide to leave me immediately after the death of our only son? <laughs> Frustration and unhappiness have set into my heart. <laughs> Where do I go from here? I'm at your Have mercy on me. I asked you to pack your things and go, didn't I? Where do I go from here? I will tell you where you will go from here. Go back to where we married you from. I can't live with a witch. Please, in the name of Amadio, have mercy on me. Moko, you are a witch. And I can't live with a witch. Go and pack your things and go. I'm innocent of all these allegations. You are still sitting there. Go and get her things and throw them out. Collect her things and throw them out. I am Where do I go from here? Get up from there and pack your things and get up. This is how you please. Get up from here! Now listen. If I come back here and I find you. That's good. Chicken, so good, Jack. Yeah. 
Amadioha continue to protect you. And you too. My fellow chiefs, I greet you. No. Um, a toad does not run in the afternoon. In vain. Strange things are happening in this our town. Now look at the family of uh, Mazibe. His only son, his only son died mysteriously. And immediately after his death, his father, Mazibe, died suddenly. Another mysterious illness. Igwe, we have to do something. We have to find solution to all these happenings. Thank you. You were. <sighs> to make matters worse, Mazumuizu and his son died this morning as they tried to go and bet at the Wekesh River. Mm. Hey. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Igwe. Oh. My people, this is not the time for us to fold our arms mm -mm. and yeah. see yeah. this town go in ruins. Yes. The lives and purpose of our people are in our hands. Let us do something fast. I greet you. I greet you too. We have to do something. Elder Safumochi. Igwe. I've had your deliberations. Igwe. I'm equally disturbed over the ugly incident that have taken place in the past few days. Uh, however, we have to invite the families that were affected. Let them come up and give us an account of their strange experience. Akokalia? Yes, Igwe. Please send for the town crier. Ask him to go around the town with his gang and invite the whole families to converge in this palace. First thing tomorrow morning. Igwe, I am leaving immediately Thank because you. something has to be done. Thank, Thank you, you Igwe. Please. Igwe.
Igwe! Ako Kanya. May you live long. I got the lay. Um, fellow elders. I greet you. Ako Kanya. You're welcome. Oh. <clears throat> um, as the spokesman of this council, I summon this meeting to remind everybody, all of us, about the mysterious death of Ike Chukwibe and the sudden departure of his father, Mazibe. Up till now, we have not done anything. Nothing has been done. And their deaths are causing serious confusion in this our town. To capital, the banishing of Mbongo by Ezekudene. Igwe, am I on the right track? Thank you very much. Igwe, the family in question belongs to me. And I am justified in whatever action I take in respect of that family. I banished that woman because she's a witch and she will remain there. Did you consult or inform anybody before sending her away? Oh. Members of my extended family are here. Oh. I discussed with them. Besides, they too cannot even interfere in matters concerning me because I am the head of the family and I take all the decisions. I am the most senior. You are not out of place. But since you took that decision alone, you have to go back to that village and bring that woman back so that the entire community we take part in the deliberations and take decisions as it matters. Exactly. Igwe. Exactly. Igwe. 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 I will not be so dishonored. I sent that woman away because she's a witch. She will remain there. Nobody tells me what to do. Nobody. As a good thing, such stance can only be possible if you are the ego of this community. You can't flout my orders. Impossible. Igwe, nobody tells me what to do. Seeking for, I know. Ezekul Dini has committed an abomination. Go home, my people. This is a Madioha's fight. Bam. Not yours. Otua. A Madioha will take his full cause. Go! Thank you very much, Ezra. Go home. Thank you very much. 
This is good. It's a cool day. It's a cool day. I abomination. Abomination at the feet of Nditye. Oh! Set forever on course. The anger and wrath of Amadio are in this land. You have denied peace from a once peaceful land. But one remedy, just one, is a good name. You will walk to the marketplace. Naked, I have spoken. As a more, as a more, you are mad. I said, You are mad. Who will walk to the marketplace naked? Me? No. You will walk to the marketplace naked. You and your family. And let me not see your foot in this compound again. Eze Kudini. Eze Kudini. What I am is not of your own making, but of God's. And for that reason, you have abused that which makes me what I am. May I murder your heart, which set his anger on you. Cursed you first if you had stayed around. I'll get you. Eh? 
Oh my god! Mm -hmm. It's all right, it's all right, but um, no. I'm going to go. Hey, Chief. Now that our Igwe is there, yes. we should have been considering how to appoint another Igwe. Mm. Chief, mm? you have spoken very well. But don't you think that it is unwise for us to be talking about Igwe sheep? When Ezekuden has not done what he was asked to do first. Oh, have you forgotten? Alan, the mm. maker, the eldest son of Ezekuden, mm. died yesterday. Oh, 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 But do you ever think that Awadioha will ever afford to forget his father's sins? She cannot. Oh, oh, I will not forget it. Awadioha! You are the greatest. Let me leave you. Jebe, Yadi, huh? Yadi, Bechi. Say my regards to your family. Amadio, you are the greatest. This is the beginning for the second. Huh? Oga, Oga, no, no, no. Huh? Amadio, Oparin, Nam. Amadio, Nam. So if I and Obina are dead, what is the meaning of life where there is no family? What is the meaning of life where there are no children? Does it mean that what Ezemo said about Amadioha is true? The most painful aspect of this experience is that the entire village has refused to help me bury my children. In Igbo, it is an abomination for a man to bury his children alone. What is happening to me? Where will I go from here? Is a bottle likely to be the answer? Can I get help from him? 
Yes. He has never failed me. I must get to him as fast as I can. He is the only help I can get now. My eyes have seen my ears. What happened? The worst has happened to your friend. How can? When I, I, your friend, Bumbodrono, is here. No, 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 it's not possible. It's not possible. Last week, I buried my son, Emeka. As I talk to you now, two corpses of my sons are lying in front of my house. Hey! Hey, Orisha! Hey, Orisha! Kamali! How did it happen? Look, it is not how it happened, as much as ensuring that it never happens again. Salute the gods. Okay. Hmm. Olu rubo. Olu suta unu kero. Adeti debe ene. Awe mi deti de o. Kata shoro resi. Me kata shesi. Aye tan nubo usu gamori paju. Enshu ame. Hello. 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 Is it good? Mm. The God says you shall go to the marketplace naked. What? Yes. The Me? God, the God said it. Go to the market naked? No. How can I spit and then go lap up my spit again? It's not done. No, there must be some way out. I, I, I can't go to the market naked. What, Lenny? You must do something about it. Is it good? Only an unebe can do it. How can I get an unebe? Leave that to me. No, 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 leave that to me. Leave that to me. If the Amandioa of your land have refused to guide you, the gods of my own land shall protect you. They shall protect you. Is it good, enemy? They are going to protect you. Just go. Go and come back in the next two market days. Go. Is it good, enemy? Go! Go or nothing will happen to you! Go and come back in the next two market days! I'm going to do a move. I'm going to do a long game. 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 I'm going to I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the
It's the Chuku. Yes, Mama. Your father is calling you. As you can see, death is near, it's coming, it's very close, and there is nothing I can do about it. As the only surviving son in the family, it is your responsibility to look of our farmlands and all the other property which we have. I know that there's a more and all his cohorts are praying for me to die so that they can come and convert our farmland to the property of our Madio. Uh, is I have lived like a strong man, and I want you to be the same. I don't want you to be a weakling, but for this ailment of mine. I would have taught as a more and the so-called Amadioha a lesson by burning down the shrine. Papa, does it mean you are not repentant? Repentant? It's nonsense. Repentance is for weak people. If you had asked me this question in those good old days, is you my son, I would have sold you into slavery for daring ask me to be repentant. You see, the death of a Mecca has created a vacuum in the family. My blessing as a father will elude you if you develop into a weakling. Your mother is getting old and it is your duty to take care of her. Make sure she does not lack anything. I said, look after your mother. I make, make, make sure that your mother... Uh, uh. No, why are you talking no. like this? No. Papa! What is pushing you? Mazi. What is pushing you? 
I have gone to your house, but I did not see you. Ah. Is there anything the matter? My father. Yes. Is a good dinner. Yes. He's dead. Nay. <laughs> Nay. This is Jugu, my son. Your father committed a lot of atrocities when he was alive. If it were not for the life you lived in this village, I wouldn't have listened to you in the first instance. Anyway, whatever is the case, let us go and see his own. The reject of the goals come to do what a Madio has enclave. Ezemo, it is because of one of our own. Yes. A Madio, the god of her land, has finally taken a decision on this. Please, the wise one, please. The dead does not live among the living. My father is a good and is lying coldly dead in his domain. And cops cannot overnight become the meat of the soup. Wise one, what will I do to bury my father? My son, yes, the dead cannot be part of us. It is not your duty to bury your father, but that of her Madioha. Go now, my son. If you get home, pack all your belongings and run to your mother's place. As for your father's corpse, the sons of the shrine will take the body to the evil forest. And for Mamai Kechuku, whom your father sent home a long time ago, she will return to this village in the event of your coming back. Wise one, what will then happen to my mother? Your mother! We come under the care of a Magyoha in this land. What, what exactly is the time and to return to the village? Hmm. That is a great debate. It is only a Magyoha. Who can tell you when? Go! Go now, my son! Go!
Yeah. 